Hello, in this video, I'm gonna share my process for making a beaker puppet out of a few sheets of paper. Welcome along. My name is Ben Stanley and I design and create paper puppets. And I'm here today with Beaker from the Muppets. Me, 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 me. It's my pleasure, I'm a big fan. On this channel, I share how I make working replicas of beloved Muppets, puppets, characters, and creatures. So if uh, paper crafts your thing, please consider subscribing. Me, 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 me. Yeah, we would love it if you like the video as well. As I say, I'm here with Beaker today. And um, I've had a few requests for a Beaker puppet, and I know he's a fan favourite, so I, I thought I'd give it a go. And, and here we are. Yay! Yeah, I mean, he's, he's relatively straightforward to make, because I mean, he's basically just a cylinder. Me, 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 me. Sorry, no offence meant. You, no, should we, should we get into it, yeah? Me, 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 me. So for this beaker puppet, we've got a couple of different colours there for his skin, for his hair, nose, and for the body. And we're going to start with cutting out what's going to become the mouth flap. And this is cutting out on the front, and then flipping it over, we're going to add in this bit of red. It's really a strengthener just to allow for when the mouth opens to stop the sort of corners tearing. It just gives it a bit more strength and allows us to put the, um, the scoring lines on the back. And this is scoring both ways, so we're folding it down, and then the other fold, for the more curved fold, is folding the other way. And that just gives the uh, mouth a little bit of space in order to be able to open and close quite easily. And we're just going to fold up the bottom of this sheet here to strengthen it. Here we've got some extra strengtheners that go down the sides, and again they're just going to stop any ripping probably wasn't needed for this one because I'm using quite thick pink paper but I always recommend these extra strengtheners. And then we're just going to curve it around and these folds here underneath the mouth are really important because basically when we curve it around into a cylinder we want the front to remain relatively flat. And then we're moving on to the mouth and we're just adding the tongue there. I'm going to score these lines and these will fold back and glue the mouth into the other section of mouth and these score lines here are really important because by folding these we're going to allow the the back of the mouth to sort of move up and down as the tongue moves out and in and this extra fold here um, allows that sort of movement within it and stops it getting stuck so we're just going to fold these over and then glue it into the face as it were and just bear in mind that the tongue is actually slightly wider than the mouth flap so when you're sticking these together they're not going to be flat against each other there's going to be a little pocket um, in there that's going to allow you to put your fingers in so it's a bit fiddly because of that but it does allow as you can see my finger just to go in there and then we're on to the hair and it's just a case of layering this up so we're putting one layer on and then we'll add the next layer on once these have been put together as we turn it around you'll see that you've then got numerous layers of hair there and then we're adding that onto the face and then this is a strengthener um, it's just a normal sheet of um, thin A4 paper but we're going to fold it over and put it in there and what it allows is when you create the cylinder it just gives it strength at the top what I realise is that should have been slightly shorter so we're going to cut it down in a second and again here this is his neck and this is strength at the bottom. So again, for that whole cylinder, it's going to allow it to, to have that sort of stability and strength. So we're gluing it in and then we'll just sort of curve it round and then glue it in. And as I say, this has been cut a little bit shorter. And you'll notice when I glued there, I didn't glue underneath the mouth because we don't want that to be, the skin to be glued against the sort of, the, that, that extra bit there. So there we go, we're cutting that out. And this is really so that when we glue it together, you're not, trying to glue many, many layers against each other. So it just allows for a slightly easier glue. This is gonna probably take a couple of minutes to hold in order to um, glue it there. And actually what's quite useful is to put a ruler in and you can just hold it down. And then we're on to the nose. And it's really important to score all the lines on there to make your life a lot easier. And then we're just gonna fold the mountain and the valley folds as per the line instructions. And I'm going to show you all of the gluing here because it's, it's useful to glue them in order. So sort of starting at the top, we do the sort of the top left and the top right folds first. And then next it's onto the bottom 
folds, not the very, very bottom one, but the bottom two either side. So we fold those ones next, and then we do the, the middle section after that. And then if you fold it as per the lines, it's, it's clear which way it folds, and it just overlaps there slightly. And then we want the nose to be sort of spherical and actually what's quite useful is to put in one of the eyes at this stage and then just sort of squeeze the paper around it so you can kind of almost memorize that shape because um, you want it to be as round as possible then you take the ball out um, and then we're just going to glue those bits in to give it that nice sort of rounded end and then the final bit of gluing on here is to just fold up the section that's going to be glued directly onto the face and this is going to leave you with a sort of triangle it's quite useful to use a ruler here just to sort of glue it and I need to hold it there for a little bit to, to hold it and then we're going to deform it slightly at the bottom because basically we need the um, mouth to be able to open without hitting the nose and you can see here it actually needs a bit more squeezing in uh, so we're going to do that and then that's going to allow the mouth to open and close without hitting the nose and then it's a case of gluing onto that triangle and gluing it onto the face. And again, it'll need holding there for a couple of minutes. Useful to do it with the ruler, just to add extra pressure. And then we're onto the eyes. And now if you don't have polystyrene spheres, I've also included some cutout eyes, which work pretty well as well. But obviously if you can get hold of these polystyrene spheres, it really sort of adds to the character. You just need to glue onto the flat bits we've just cut and then glue where they're gonna touch each other as well. And then they just go directly above the nose. And again, you need to hold them there a couple of minutes in order to glue it. And then as you're adding the eyes in, start with the pencil and then sort of fill it in with the black marker. And then we've got the eyes. So the final section here is just to add the body. And again, we just curve this round and you'll need to hold it there probably for a couple of minutes just till the glue bonds. And then in terms of the mechanism, you either put the middle two fingers or just one finger into the tongue and the outside fingers go behind the mouth. And then you just pull your fingers down. You can see there inside that the, the paper rises at the back. So you need to make sure the folding you did earlier is allowing that to happen. So there you have it, a beaker puppet made out of a few sheets of paper. Mimi! Yeah, thank you, beaker. He's been a lot of fun to make. And thank you also for watching. We really do appreciate it. Uh, let us know what you think about the puppet in the comments. And while you're at it, why don't you let us know who your favourite Muppet is? Ah, beaker. By the way, who's your favourite Muppet? Me! Silly question, really. All right, until next time. Bye-bye. Me!